tip 29. Want to vectorize two text columns in a column transformer. You can't pass them in a list, but you can pass the vectorizer twice and they will learn separate vocabularies. Okay, the background here is that most pre-processing steps in scikit-learn expect 2D objects, but count vectorizer, and it does bag of words encoding for text data, only accepts 1D objects. Now, what that means is that with a column transformer, you can pass multiple columns to one hot encoder, for example, and then it will one hot encode them separately and then stack the results side by side. So you could do that with one hot encoder, but you can't, cannot pass multiple columns to a single instance of count factorizer. So the thing I'm trying to address is, let's say you have two text columns, you want to count factorize them, and you want to use both of them as part of your resulting data set for training the model. So what is our workaround? Your workaround is just to pass the same vectorizer to column transformer twice, and then in each one, you name the text column you want to use. And it will indeed learn separate vocabularies. It doesn't somehow combine all the data. The column transformer, by its nature, will stack the results side by side. You can, of course, do this for as many columns as you like. It is actually okay to use the same object. You don't need to make like two instances of count vectorizer called vect1 and vect2. You can just call it vect and each time it will kind of get reset.